The Jade Emperor is very grateful to you for your support during the long struggle against the Communist, but going forward, he intends to clean his hands of the drug trade. The Emperor has promised that he would not turn his back on us. We expect to be allowed to continue our business without his interference. The Emperor is known to be a man of his word. Relax, gentlemen. The Emperor is indeed a man of his word and wishes to reward you for your work. After all, he could not have made it through the difficult times of this past century without you, your fathers, and grandfathers. But it is my duty to remind you that you are, and always have been, servants of the Jade Emperor, just as your fathers and grandfathers were. When the Jade Emperor took over the drug trade back in the 50s, he assigned your grandfathers the jobs of running the business. Now the Emperor wishes to reassign you, effective immediately. Your new positions are prestigious, with generous salaries, and suited to your abilities. You will never be prosecuted for your past involvement in the drug trade. It was, after all, in service to the Empire. We have been running a billion dollar industry, and you expect us to walk out and accept some government jobs? You must think we're fools! Yi Gan Lin, I need your answer also. Tell me about this new assignment. Come with me. Yi, if you go out that door, you're finished in this business! We are all finished in this business. Mr. Tse! We must retreat to a secret location and assess our situation. Fool, I already know our situation. It is Wu Fang Chu who has overplayed his hand. I put him in power, and with one phone call, I can take him down. Assassination? It's the only way. I've been preparing for this. We will seize power. Yes, I'm with him now. Yi accepted our offer. Tsi and Zin both killed. I'll let him know. Sir, right before he died, Tsi tried to order a hit on you. We know who he called, but he was killed before he said anything. Have the hitman brought to me. I want a word with him. Perhaps he will accept the job I was going to offer Tsi. Mutants, magic, technology, martial arts. Once, Lee Walser lived a normal life. Then everything changed when he was attacked. Now, he's a superhero who draws on the power of all four elements. In a world that needs superheroes, Lee and his friends must take time to master their abilities. But when the time comes, the immortal paladin and team gold will save the world. In the early 9th century, before the Viking Age really got going, it was the Norse themselves who faced invaders from the north. Trolls. These attacks were led by the trolls' legendary king, Uzlak. Eventually, the trolls were driven back, Uzluk himself was killed by the Danish hero Skagans, son of Tyr, father of Morgan Skagans, your grandfather. This is all very interesting, but really, I just want to know about the Volsung Hunter. He's getting to it. We told you you gotta be patient. And I told you about the Troll King Uzluk. But you said my granddad killed him. That wasn't the end of Ooz Luck. He, he rode the Nagalfar to Ragnarok. As Valhalla burned, he swore to hunt down the descendants of the Asgardian wherever they may hide. For centuries, Ooz Luck and his friends traveled all over Europe, hunting and killing the Volsung. But time marched on. The Volsung became fewer and harder to find. One by one, Uzluk's friends lost interest in his quest and abandoned him until he was alone with an impossible task. Okay, so my grandfather killed him, but he came back. 
You're telling me he's not just a troll, but some undead monster? A revenant. And you can't reason with him. He won't stop until he's killed. So, how do I find him, and how do I kill him? He lives in Trollheim, but he travels a lot. Since he can teleport, even if you know where he is, uh, he'll be gone by the time you get there. You'll have to trap him by going where he's going to be and waiting for him. Once you get him to fight you, he'll trap you with an arena spell. No one goes in, and no one comes out until one of you win. Thunderdome. Exactly. Okay, but do I need a special weapon or something? You can see in the dark, and you have an unbreakable weapon. The rest is up to you. Uh, Odin, don't forget. Uh, he'll keep coming back unless you destroy the Nogglefar. Oh, yeah, and uh, that's in Helheim. I gotta go to Helheim? Yeah, it's cool, man. You can ride my horse. Oh, yeah, I learned how to ride horses from the teaching machine. Anyway, uh, you need to know your way around the worlds, and like Gordon told you, there's no map. Without a map, the only way to teach you is for you to take, take a, drink a drink from, from the, the well. well. But the Norns told me not to, and I can't make a sacrifice to a well, I'm a Christian. Mimir guards the well, not the Norns. And you pulled the root down here, that'll work. Are you sure? Am I sure? Odin, am I sure? Dude, this is Mimir. He knows everything, and it's his well. Okay, I'm sorry. You travel all the way to the underworld to ask me stuff that no one else can tell you. I tell you all about the guy you're looking for, and when I tell you to drink some water from my well, you want to ask me if I'm sure. Chill, Mimir. He's used to dealing with mortals. <laughs> Go on, take a drink and get on out of here. You got people waiting on you. He has a weird sense of humor. <laughs> Alright, back to our game. I spy with my little eye something yellow. So it's okay that I'm dating one of these clones? If the clones were true Volsung, they would have been brought to Asgard by the Gathering Ritual. Since he's not a true Volsung, any attraction you feel for each other will be natural. For any other dating advice, I'd say talk to your mother. But are the clones immortal, or will they grow old and die? I don't know. Ladies, can you tell us? These clones are unique creatures, unlike any others. They are not Volsung, nor are they mutants, but they are immortal, magical creatures. They are simulacra that have existed for far too long. They have taken on a life of their own and can't be rejoined to Lee. They still maintain a nebulous connection to Lee, but beware! They have been programmed by the teaching machine. They are all servants of Wu Fang Chu. Disaster! Disaster! As God is fallen! The gods and Volsung are carried away by the subjects of different fates. The elves alone cannot withstand the giants! Dr. Weird, what could be taking Lee so long? He ignored our warning and drank from the well of Mimir! Click this too, because that first one doesn't do anything except let you click this one. This one does stuff. This part's really important. Then leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Goodbye!